because one of the things that we've seen is that through being here now nearly seven years and through the relationships we've made with Ashipibo colleagues and partners and different communities and different organizations you know, that, that we, we there's a very good platform for researchers to come here and then have access to these organizations and these people that would be difficult for them to get on their own if they were just to turn up in Bukalpa one day and start looking for those relationships. So as a researcher, I am interviewing Shipiba women and also healthcare professionals to better understand the ways in which women are currently using the healthcare system and currently using screening services for cervical and breast cancer. Each week I've been teaching an English class to local artisan women. Um, they actually made this shirt. <laughs> um, and, you know, so teaching them English and then in exchange I'm practicing my Spanish while that's happening. And they're kind of coaching me in Spanish, but I'm also getting the opportunity to learn Shipibo. My research is based on looking at how uh, medicinal plants, rituals, and knowledge are being recontextualized as they move from here and in more rural parts of the uh, forest here in Peru to new cultural landscapes and new ecological landscapes, like looking at more urban areas and then also looking at moving into more um, like particularly to California and how those things are traveling and translated and where like money and power accumulate in networks between here and California. Specifically with plants, you know, what does it mean for specific plants to be irreplaceable to a cultural identity of a particular group? What does it mean to give back, you know, because ultimately a lot of researchers will gain, you know, their degrees and, you know, and they'll gain some sort of you know, solidarity in academia, and they'll, you know, move on. But a lot of these communities, once pe researchers are, are gone, you know, they, they don't really get much from it, you know. I mean, at least that's been the historical uh, paradigm. So it's important to me, um, especially in the long term, to really have an understanding of, you know, what it means to truly reciprocate and have balanced and and conscientious approach towards research. I hope that we can do a lot of good and, and really um, uh, bring forth a new paradigm in how research is done. Um, how to adapt to climate change in the community because one of the core issues that they identified was that um, the, the land keeps, you know, keeps being eaten away by the, by the change in the river and some of the some of the little kuchas, some of the lakes have already dried out, and there's some serious issues around food food security during flood season. Estoy trabajando básicamente con la comunidad de Nuevo Zaposoa. Estoy eh, trabajando un estudio sobre el desarrollo de esta comunidad, tratando de conseguir que sea Que, que tenga energía eléctrica y que sea declarado su bosque un recurso turístico. My main project has to do with female empowerment and sexual health, that the levels of teen pregnancy are extremely high. A lot of the mothers have been young mothers, and what they say is that they became pregnant without knowing about ways to take care of themselves. Um, and of course they don't want the same for their young girls and they want the young girls to have choice in life. You know, we want people to know that they can make a choice about what life they want to lead, that they feel empowered to choose for themselves, and that they can be whoever they want to be. One project we have is to produce a book about medicinal plants with pictures of the spirits of the plants and that will be oriented towards children. So that as well as learning the Western knowledge about the plants, they also have an understanding within their own culture that the plants have spirits and then how that relates to the cosmovision. As an English teacher, I'm working twice a week in the community of Santa Clara and uh, three times a week I go to the primary school in Benachema, which is also a community. One of my primary projects here was holding a three-day video-making workshop after the Indigenous Peoples March of June 5th. 
uh, with my initial contact with the Shipibo, I was really struck by this extraordinary knowledge that they had about medicinal plants and how to heal people with medicinal plants. And at the same time, I realized that there was a huge risk that this knowledge was being lost. And with the impact of globalization with the West, it's important that the young people have the skills and the abilities to navigate these Western systems, cultural systems, economic systems, political systems, because that is part of their reality now. It's not possible to turn the clock back 50 years. But at the same time that they can do that in a way that they don't lose touch with their original culture, with their cultural identity.